Birdie's big girl dress. Birdie and her mother were busy. Tomorrow was Birdie's birthday party. And tomorrow was almost here. Look at them getting the decorations ready. Birdie skipped around the house with her dog, Monster, as she finished the party decorations. She couldn't wait to dance to her favorite songs, play her favorite games, and share her birthday cake with all of her friends. Look at Monster. There's Birdie with all her party balloons. Birdie went to get her favorite party dress from her closet, but when she tried to put it on, it was too small. Oh no, look at these dresses. Don't worry, sweetheart, said Mommy. We'll go shopping tomorrow and get you something that will fit just right. Do you have any favorite clothes that won't fit? That night, Birdie dreamed of dresses. Fluttery floral sundresses. <laughs> Lovely lace sheets. And chick chiffon gowns. So pretty. The next morning, Birdie, Mommy, and Monster walked to their favorite boutique. Guess who was there? Birdie's friends, Coco, Charlie, and Eve. Hi, Birdie, said Coco. Look at the dress I'm getting for your party. And look at mine, added Eve. Ooh, squealed Birdie. They're perfect. Birdie's mother handed her a fabulous frilly sundress. It was beautiful, but it was too big to play games in. Next, Birdie tried on a lacy sheaf. It was silky and smooth, but it was too snug to eat cake in. So Birdie reached for a gauzy gown. It made Birdie feel like a lady, but it was too long to dance in. Do you think she'll ever find a dress that she can wear? Let's see. <gasps> Birdie tried on dress after dress, but none of them felt just like her. Poor Birdie. She had nothing to wear to her own party. What are you going to do now? asked Charlie. Where's her friends? I don't know, but I'll think of something, she said. See you guys at the party. Birdie took her mommy's hand as they went home. When they got back, Birdie had an idea. Mommy, Birdie asked, can Monster and I go up to the attic? Maybe there's something special there, just for me and my birthday. Okay, darling, Mommy said with a smile. Don't be too long. <gasps> oh, exclaimed Birdie when she turned on the light. There was a magical place. Look at all the dresses and costumes and boxes and pretty things to wear. Birdie giggled as she wrapped a big shawl around herself. She felt so stylish. Here, Monster, try on this top hat. Monster felt so dapper. But whose clothes were these? Birdie knew they must have belonged to her grandma and grandpa. Ooh, look, Monster. Isn't this the most beautiful dress? Monster looked pretty in pink, too. I love Grandpa's fancy vest. Ding dong, ding dong. The doorbell rang and rang. Coco and Charlie and Eve were here. Wow, Birdie, you look beautiful. I haven't seen those clothes in ages, Mommy said. Ooh, ah, her friend squealed. Is that your new dress? What dress is she going to wear? Let's see. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, said Birdie with a smile. She looked down and twirled. It's my new Birdie dress. Look how cute she looks. She's got a flower crown, new earrings, grandpa's vest, and a beautiful dress to go with it. Happy birthday, Birdie, everyone sang. And it was. Aw, Birdie's birthday cake with all her friends. Happy birthday, Birdie.